All right, re reviewing video proc. I think the uh, better name would have been Video Pro or something. That's probably not available. But anyway, the name is Video P R O C. I think it's short for Video Processing uh, Software. But let me tell you, I've downloaded like every one I could find, uh, like a Ripper, uh, like a combination Ripper uh, DVD uh, burner, um, video converter. And this is the best one I found. This is the best one I found. This is by the same makers of that WinX DVD. And what I like about this company too is they get great support. Anytime I email them or talk to them, they're really quick about getting back with me. Um, and I, there's another one, my second pick, and I'll show you who that is um, on this video is a different company but they're number two but uh, the reason I don't like them is because uh, I've emailed them a bunch of times about issues and tried to talk to them and they never reply back so if you don't want any support you can go to this other company but they have some pretty good software but uh, zero support and this they have awesome software and awesome support so this is the video proc um, and which is man they're just getting better every year now now they've combined uh, their DVD ripper they also have the uh, video, uh, they call it video processing, but it's basically uh, you can merge, edit, um, but the editing stuff and the merging, all that stuff is real simple. It's not like a video editor, um, it, but, it, but it is a, a excellent converter. So let's say you have a, um, a video in a certain format or, or an audio file. You can pop it in here and convert it to MP4 or uh, um, uh, to a Windows Media file or whatever MP3 or a WAV file, whatever you want, it's awesome um, to have that capability. And plus, it's all built into one program, so it makes it that much easier. Uh, the DVD Ripper is on the same awesome technology that they they've had before, and it just keeps growing better and better. They, they also do really good support for uh, NVIDIA, uh, um, or if you have a GPU. Uh, so if you're, let's say your CPU is, CPU is a little slow, then and you have a good video card, you can offset it uh, by using the GPU to do the encoding and decoding for the DVD, DVD ripping. Um, so if we go to settings over here, um, you'll actually see right here, hardware acceleration, uh, acceleration engine has NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD. And if we go into the options here, you can see right here for H.264, um, that's for like when you do an MP4, that's like the codec uh, al algorithm. You can see it's going to use um, NVIDIA, the GPU on the NVIDIA uh, video card to the, do the encoding and decoding, which uh, I'm going to, we're going to talk about that in a minute, which is very interesting um, results that came from that uh, using, the, using the GPU. Um, they also, uh, which I haven't really used, I actually uh, go online to do this, but I may have to um, work on this. They have a downloader, like if you have YouTube videos or, or such, you can put the URL in there. It'll go and get the video and download it for you and the music. Um, pretty cool. And then uh, that's like to me a bonus. And then um, they have a recorder. A screen recorder which I was really surprised to see that on there and actually I've been recording with it and it's a and that's what I'm actually recording this video with is that screen recorder actually does a really good job and uh, what I like about it too is it outputs it to a, um, a standardized mp4 uh, file so I think it does uh, I mean, that's a, an extra bonus too. So you get the DVD ripper, you get the a video converter. So these are the two f uh, main flagship programs. And then you get these also, I, I would say these are like bonus programs. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the DVD because I mean, that's our main one right now. I mean, that's a, something like you've got a giant stack of DVDs you want to convert and put on a NAS or, um, you know, stream them somehow. Uh, this is how you do it. You just And the, another cool thing about this program, you can go to their website, you can download the program install it and then you can use it um, with all these settings uh, I think you get they let you rip about five uh, minutes or something but I mean enough that you can see that it works but you know before you purchased it um, some software don't have demos you don't even know if it's gonna work or not but this is full-fledged you can download it check it out um, I'm really impressed with their software so let's click on DVD and I got a DVD in there right now so we're gonna go disk and we're going to let it auto detect analyzing this is an old movie I had back in the uh, back in the day so what it does is it's gonna go in there and it's gonna um, just try to decide what it thinks the main title is and it does that by the length of it um, so what we're gonna do you have different formats you can use uh, this is the most popular and we're gonna leave it at the uh, 
H.264 MP4. So that's like a, a standardized, like for YouTube and, and just about everything uses this. Uh, because a lot of hardware, see the H.264, um, a lot of hardware is made to uh, decode that uh, really fast. So like if you have a Nexus player or some kind of streaming device, uh, most of it's able to uh, decode uh, through hardware that H.264 codec. So that's the reason it's uh, best to use that, I think. Um, so I would usually, uh, you can change the settings to make it a lower quality, to make it a smaller file, but I, I usually use the uh, default settings, which um, is the same resolution, so the uh, 720 by 480 uh, so I leave it the same and just leave it on the, on the same one. So let's go ahead and um, rip this. We're going to see how long it takes and we're going to see how uh, big the file type is. So this will give you a good uh, estimate of what a, a basic movie would do. But this isn't a, a true 1080p. So if it was, um, you're going to take it's going to be, uh, because this is an older movie, it's going to be a lot larger. Here's another thing I like about this program, which I don't see other programs have this. So this Maximum Overdrive is an older movie that I bought a long time ago. And it's really kind of made for more like a TV. So if you, on the, a lot of the encoders that I've tried, if you uh, rip this, uh, you'll put it on your TV. And in fast moving sections, you'll see these little lines all the way down the, uh, up and down the screen. And what that's called is, is if you don't have deinterlacing, um, like this is one of the programs that I've seen that actually has that. Um, it'll take all those lines out. Uh, so it's an excellent thing. It takes a, a little bit longer to, uh, but not that much at all, but just a little bit longer to encode. Um, and they also have a, use, a high quality engine, which uh, makes it even look smoother and nicer. So I usually check these two. It's using six cores, and th that's what we're going to also look at, uh, how much of the CPU is it using versus the GPU, and which one's faster. So if you have Windows 10, um, I think it's the Anniversary Edition, and you click on the, uh, go to the Task Manager, and then click on the performance tab. If you'll see that uh, now, which is, they did a good job on it. Now they have actual GPU graph, so you can see um, if your GPU is being used. And let's move this over a little bit so we can see it. And then you can see the CPU. So if you don't have this hardware acceleration, if you uncheck this, it's gonna totally use your CPU and just max it out. And you'll hear it going, woo, your fan will kick on and it'll, it'll kick it to the uh, top. Um, if you use your GPU, usually it does about half, and, um, you know, I don't know. I thought, really what I thought if using the GPU is going to be so much faster, like five or six times faster, but what I found is, I guess because I have such a fast CPU, I got a newer CPU, that the CPU, the six-core CPUs is, is just as fast as the GPU. So, you know, you kind of, if you have a slow, G, like I said, if you have a slow CPU, like a slower um, processor, and then you have a nice video card, then you'd want to switch it over to the um, the GPU hardware acceleration. So GPU means it's using your graphics processor unit on the video card. So it's using that to encode the video. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and use that, and you'll see the GPU being really worked hard. Um, so let's go ahead and hit Run, and it's going to save it right here. Actually, we're going to change this. We want to save that to our desktop. There we go. So now it's going to output this um, MP4 video file to the desktop. So we're going to click Run. I'm going to pause the video, and then we'll come back and then um, see, how, see how long it actually takes. So let's go ahead and get it started and output we don't want to show the folder and it says video is being converted so it looks like it's started I don't see anything happening hang on here okay there it goes so 400 500 frames per second and you can see the GP start to pick up here. And I'm, I'm recording this on the same computer with the same software, so that, that might be causing some problems too. Let's go ahead and check the time. It says 19 minutes. Um, and then it says duration. So we're going we're gonna to pause this and we'll come back and see how long it took and see how long, how big the file type size is. All right, it's about finished. Okay, it just finished. We're gonna stop the time, and I actually started that time a little late, so it's probably more like eight minutes. Um, so not too bad. You can see the GPU uh, kicked up a, a lot. It was about 23, 24%, and so was the CPU. So I'm surprised I didn't use more of both of those. Um, but still, I mean, excellent time. You could pop it in and, and be done in no time while you 
uh, go get a snack or something. So great timing on there. Let's grab the let's grab the file and see how big it is. We're going to drag it over here. Let's see what size we got here. So that's 1.39. I think if you um, took the MPEG itself uh, directly off the disk, it probably usually be about four or five gigs. So you save uh, quite a bit of uh, space using this. And I've looked at them. They, they, it does such an excellent job. I don't think you could tell the difference. I mean, maybe some people could. Um, but uh, being reduced that, that much with the MP, MP4 codec. So excellent job on that as usual. The deinterlacing works perfect. Um, you can use the GPU or CPU. Excellent, excellent. So all the way around, um, very great, great deal. They have tons of codecs that you can um, convert to if you want. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and look at the, let's look at the other features of this. Uh, they have, um, so the video, Converter is a big thing too, because you normally have to get a different software if you have a DVD ripper. And then let's say you have files that you need to convert. Um, you have to get a, another converter. The screen recorder works great. The downloader, I uh, actually haven't used it, but um, I'm sure it works fine. We'll try one actually. Here's a video uh, converter. So you drag the file on here and then you can convert it to whatever you want. So let's say here's a, here's a file. And then it looks like you can go in there and do some effects, watermark, cut, you can crop it, rotate it. So when it talks about, you know, video processing or edits, editing, it lets you do that. But uh, uh, you can add a video, music. Um, but what I use this for is converting video files, uh, different video files to different formats. You might download something or have something you need to convert it. Um, either you're working in a video processing program. Um, and then from there you can... Yeah, it has tons of features, so it converts it just like it would um, when it rips a DVD. So uh, you can pull the music out of it if you want. You can rip an audio file. Uh, it's, it's just as fast. It uses the same uh, engine. Um, so definitely another awesome feature. So I would give this program 5 out of 5. This is my favorite uh, of all time video processing um, engine. If you... Um, if you did ever got the Win X DVD, it's the same people who make this also make this. So this was one of my top picks for a DVD Ripper. Now they basically uh, taken this technology and put it in with their um, video proc, which puts them all together, gives you the DVD Ripper and also gives you the video editing and converting, uh, basically converting um uh, processing uh, section here and then you have a downloader and then like I said like these are two bonuses so if you have any questions or anything about ripping or converting files definitely leave some comments below I'll be more than glad to answer those um, you can go to this uh, website here videoproc.com and uh, get this um, program you can download a demo check it out see if you like it before you purchase all right thank you for watching this and have a great day